so we're going to play a quick game called I Love You But, where we talk about things that we do love, but they are not perfect. Liam, why don't you kick us off? What's something um, that you love, but maybe not perfectly? Ring of Honor, I love you, but you need to find a new identity. Okay, go on. Uh, basically, Ring of Honor had the identity that kind of filled the gap between WWE and ECW from the 90s, where ECW was this underground, dirty, raw wrestling show that really spoke to the 90s, right? And when that went away, Ring of Honor in the early 2000s filled that void in a place where WWE went and became far more sports entertainment and kind of lost its identity as a wrestling show in the mid 2000s where John Cena really kind of took over. Yep. A lot of fans found Ring of Honor as a an oasis of this is the pro wrestling that I like. They're not afraid. They don't emphasize the blood and the violence, but if it happens, it's to emphasize the story. Yeah. CM Punk, Samoa Joe, Kevin Steen, yeah. El Generico, the Young Bucks. You know, it was a Daniel Bryan, Chris Hero. It was Tyler Black. Tyler Black, and the names go on and on and on. And it had an identity. And in recent years, really ever since, you can kind of draw a line when Steen left, when Kevin Steen got picked up by WWE, Ring of Honor has lost its identity. Now, it's not through a fault of their own because they unfortunately have had all of their roster raided by WWE and they haven't been able to keep up with the making of the stars in order to replenish that identity. But the biggest hindrance is, is that they've bent over backwards for the Young Bucks and they've bent over backwards for New Japan. So neither one of those identities are theirs. And that's how Dalton Castle winning the Ring of Honor championship from Cody Rhodes doesn't feel good. Yeah, it, feels, it, fall, it, it fell flat. It fell flat. Not because Dalton Castle isn't a good professional wrestler. It's because... Ring of Honor doesn't have an identity, so it didn't feel like Sting taking back the WCW championship from the NWO. Right. Because that's what that moment was. That's that was what that the, moment was supposed to supposed be. Supposed to be. Is that Dalton Castle was taking it the Ring of Honor championship back from the Bullet Club, and it didn't work. Are and you telling me that if you have a evil group that has established themselves in a promotion, yeah. and you rush the story of yeah. the person on their way to finally defeating that champion, are you telling me that might fail? I know, it's crazy. Oh, we haven't seen that before. Are you sure? I don't think so. But what if I told you we rushed? Oh, man. Leo rushed? No. Um, <laughs> um, what if I told you the kid has is, is been wrestling for 50 years somehow? Yeah, um, right. So that's, I, I think you're spot on on yeah. all of that, and I think it's a reason that they need to start going in a different direction. Like, Flip Gordon should yeah. be the direction of the company. Correct. A guy like um, Brian Malonis, and not just because we like him and he's on the network. Punishment should, Martinez. Should be ripping through people on the way to the top right. because he's he looks the part. Punisher Gonzalez yeah. should be on a, some sort of a, right. a rampage. Right. Uh, the Dalton Castle time came and went. It felt like the good idea at the time. It's yeah. not right now. Cody should still be the champion, and we should be building a guy like Flip to come and shockingly take it away from him right. and be the new Mr. Ring of Honor to replace guys like Roddy Strong, Adam Cole, Kevin Steen, uh, Seth Rollins. El even Generico, e Samoa e Joe, e Brian Daniels, e Claudio uh, Castagnoli. Austin Aries. <laughs> so like, you, like, you know what I mean? Just... All, all Mr. Ring of Honors that have come and gone, and now to me, Mr. Mr. Ring of Honor is Jay Briscoe, who's doing dumb, goofy tag stuff with lightsabers. You're, you're totally right. Yeah. <laughs>